for today's look. As you can see, it is very fall-esque, if you know what I mean. I wanted to do kind of a pumpkin spice, cozy, cute look today. I branched out and used some really pretty fall pumpkin spice colors that I felt were appropriate. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Don't forget to like the video if you're excited to see it and subscribe if you guys are new. Welcome if you guys are new. Let's get into the video and get started with this look. All right guys, to begin, I'm going to prime the lids and I already did the eyebrows. I'll probably do an updated brow tutorial though soon just for those of you that would like that. But I do the same routine all the time so I don't wanna bore you guys with that. So I'm just priming the lids today with my Laura Mercier concealer. All right, so for this pumpkin spice look, I'm gonna pick up this Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. It's got excellent colors in it for kind of this fall look. And I think for today's look, I'm gonna stick kind of with the yellow and orange kind of tones and just kind of go from there. So I'm gonna pick up my Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna dip it into this yellow shade here just to kind of build that crease up. one of those unique shades that is just kind of intimidating when you initially see it but when you actually use it it is a beautiful color and perfect for this fall kind of fall vibe using that same brush I'm gonna dip into this shade here which is a kind of a pumpkin-y orange shade and I'm just gonna deepen up that crease a little bit And I'm not bringing that up too high because I do want some of that yellow shade to kind of peek through the top. Grabbing a more tapered blending brush, this is a Lexi 231. I'm gonna dip into this really rich, kind of reddish orange shade. And I'm gonna focus that just right on the outer corner. And then I do think I'm gonna do a halo look with this eye look, so I'm gonna add that shade right on that inner corner as well, just with a flat eyeshadow brush. You don't have to worry about being too precise with the shades, because we're gonna add a color in the middle, and then from there we'll blend everything. And then in the middle, I'm going to add just a pop of concealer so we can kind of cut the crease a little bit so that the middle eyeshadow really is like pops and is intense. I'm gonna blend that out with just a flat Morphe M167 concealer brush. And you just wanna bring that all the way up to the crease. Blend that really well, but still keep the pigment really rich in the middle. So I grabbed this shade from the Morphe Gold Palette and it's this really beautiful bronze, almost greenish shade. And on the finger, it just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna pack that on to the lid with my finger. Oh, you see that? It has such good pigment. Stunning. Okay, I'm gonna blend the sides of the eyeshadow just to make sure everything kind of meshes together. I'm gonna just start to kind of blend the two colors together right on those outer area here. All right, you guys, I'm gonna apply some foundation now and I didn't add any um, primer earlier, so I'm gonna add that now. Today I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, this stuff used before and it works pretty good it smells super good too I can't even describe it but it has a really unique smell to it it does have a little bit of matteness to it so if you have like really dry skin you may not like this one but it does feel tacky so it does I do like the consistency of it it's pretty good for today's foundation I'm using my NARS radiant longwear foundation in the shade Stromboli. Bully 
shade looks a little yellow like when I put it on, but I promise it's the right color. All right, foundation is on. Now I'm going to apply some concealer. Get rid of these bags, if you know what I mean. All right, I'm gonna set the under eye with some Laura Mercier powder, and this is a Morphe M554 brush. I love this brush, it's super good for just powdering the under eye area. It's like the perfect size. Then I'm going to take like a pencil brush that has kind of a nice tip to it, and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line using that orangish shade that I used earlier in the crease. Then I'm gonna use that deeper shade just right on the outer corner. And then picking up a very small, precise brush, I'm gonna go into the yellow and just pack that on the inner corner just for something a little bit different. And then picking up my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is in the shade Molten Gold. I am going to just pop that on the inner corner over the top of that yellow to really intensify it and make the eyes pop. All right, let's bronze up the face a little bit, add a little bit of contouring here. It's a little bit dirty, so don't mind that. But this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette, and the shades in here are just phenomenal. Into this bronze shade here and just kind of start to warm up the face. I'm using a Morphe M530. Then picking up this shade here, I'm just gonna kind of brighten the under eye. And then to stick with the pumpkin spice kind of theme, I decided to go with kind of a burnt orange blush, which is totally like out of my normal comfort zone, but I do love this color. It is by Sephora and it is in the shade Hot Flush. It is a gorgeous orange kind of burnt shade. And then I'm gonna apply that with the Anastasia A23 brush. It is a bold color, but when you apply it, it is very subtle and buildable. It almost gives you kind of like a warm bronze effect, which is gorgeous too, like for summertime when you're really tan. All right, let's add a little bit more of that Master Chrome highlight, and we're gonna apply this to the high points of the face. I'm not being shy today. I really want to look like a glazed donut. I'm gonna apply just a little bit to the Cupid's bow. A little bit to just the tip of the nose. All right, before I add any sort of mascara, I wanna spray the face just to set all the makeup, make everything really just lock in. So today I'm using my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This stuff is phenomenal. If you have more dry skin, so right now my skin is pretty dry, so this setting spray is perfect for my skin at the moment. But usually I tend to be on the oilier side, so just use this sparingly. It is a little bit oilier than most setting sprays. I'm gonna curl the lashes. Get a little bit of height on these bad boys. And then if you saw my last video, you know that I have been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer as a kind of base before I apply mascara. And I have been loving this stuff lately. It just like, has been keeping my lashes just looking really, really good, so. And I'm trying a new mascara today. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I just got this in my Allure box, but the brush looks really good, and I've heard really good things about this mascara, so we're gonna try it today. Ooh, it's really good, I like it. Not like super runny, which I love, and it's definitely buildable, which is like a plus. I'm using the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes 
in this style 812. I think these will work really good for this look. While the glue dries, I'm going to apply Spice Lip Liner by MAC. For the top of that, I'm applying this lip stain by Saint Laurent. That's how you say it. This is in the shade 23. It doesn't have like a name, but I'll find out and put that in the description box below. And then super quick before my lashes dry, I'm gonna apply these really quick. All right, I was having a little bit of issues with these lashes today, so I'm just gonna have to deal, but I think because I needed to trim them, but I didn't have my scissors, so. All right, so I do like the lip, but it's kind of like meh. It's not the greatest, so I'm gonna apply this over the top. This is Cabana Boy. This is a really pretty lip gloss uh, from ColourPop, and the shade is just a gorgeous, shimmery brown shade. So I'm gonna apply this over the top. Oh yes, this is what this is what was needed. Ooh, this lip gloss is so pretty. All right, you guys, there you have it. This is the completed look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? It's kind of making me want to go grab myself a pumpkin spice latte, cozy up by the fire, binge watch some reality TV, you know? If you guys liked this look, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, you guys, if you're new. Please become a part of my channel, a part of the family. I would so appreciate it, you guys. And if you guys aren't new and you've already subscribed, I love you. All right, guys, I will see you in the next tutorial. I hope you guys have a good week. Bye, guys.